it, gang. I'm watching my CPU go up and down. XSplit, you drive me crazy. So it's giving me fra uh, dropped frames warnings. I hope this isn't going to happen. Hola, everybody. Let's see who's coming in here. So settle down, CPU, you freak. Uh, Minecraft lover. Hello, Richard and Scott and Eric and Vengeance. And Vengeance said he's not wearing any underwear today. Too much information, sir. David. Scott. Miss Thompson. David. Dave Lee. David Lee Roth is in the house. That's awesome. Richard. What'd you do? You made Taco Time Chicken Burritos. Oh, that sounds good. Lori is here. Michael is here. I think I said Michael before, I'm not sure. Fernando, hello. And let's see, and I said Scott and Joel. Yes, I'll talk about that in a second. Zelda, hello, Zelda things, I like that. Um, okay, so hello to everybody. I think I got everybody. Yeah, I think I got everybody. So, of course, the uh, chat this evening is sponsored by 7-Eleven, 5101 Northeast 112th Avenue in Vancouver, Washington. They supply the chow for the chat. And once again, I got the Bacon Ranch Chicken Wings, 10 of those puppies for my dinner tonight. Um, so yeah, the, the squirrel cam, I decided to point the nerd cam to out the window because you see that tree right there, that tree, I mean, we have squirrels running around all over the place in the apartments. It's very cool. But that tree specifically has a squirrel that will come down and start chattering at me and he'll make all kinds of weird noises and sit there and he'll hang upside down and he's up and down now he's been out there already today i don't know if he might come down again if he does you got the squirrel cam to watch fernando todd how you doing how you doing man i am king nerd i am king nerd and uh welcome and uh welcome Lori and eric our mods who are keeping the chat classy tonight. Thank you very much, you two, very much. And Crystal just came in. Hola. Hi, so good to be back, sir. I haven't been here in a while, so great to listen to your videos. I really enjoy them. Well, great. Good to have you, Crystal. Whenever you can stop by, you know, real life takes precedence. So if you have something else that you want to do, should be doing, don't ever feel bad about missing the chat. You can always watch the replay and come back next week. Um, no, I do not use Open Broadcaster. I use XSplit, although I'm considering um, trying, oh, well, I mean, I, I have it all set up, and I'm considering possibly trying that a little bit more to see where my CPU usage is. I'm not sure why it goes up and down. Right now, it's like it 16 and then it goes down to like four and then while while the music was playing and everything and it said it was dropping frames it was like up to 98 percent it's cr crazy skid it welcome sir that's okay troll i'm glad to have you david david in the house yeah, I love XSplit, except for that one problem, and that's been a problem for a long time through a lot of different versions that people have complained about. For some reason, it'll grab your CPU at times and just jack it up really high. And, uh, you know, I had to actually cancel one chat one week because it would not go down, and it was just going to be a disaster. So I thought it's better just to call it a wash and go to next week and see if I can fix it. Artie! Artie in the house. Flores, keep it chat. Or keep it classy. Keep the chat classy. Thank you very much. Rippy Kippy in the house. The, the, the cool thing about XSplit over um, Open Broadcaster is they actually have a plugin that just, all you have to do for Facebook is just tell it that you want to log into your account and then you just start 
the whole thing in XSplit, and it'll go ahead and broadcast on Facebook. It's really nice. I really like it. Bugles! I love bugles. Those are awesome. I'm Batman. No, I'm Batman. Clementine. Notice you, please. I notice you. Hey, Chad. Welcome to the chat, sir. And Kevin is in the house. Kevin, who moved down to Texas. That's Kevin from 7-Eleven, who worked over here at 7-Eleven. He moved down to Texas. So how's the heat down there? It's 98 degrees today. It's horrible. Michael Keaton. I'm Batman. Vengeance. Butter toast. What about butter toast? For your new 180D vinyl? What is that? When I hear vinyl, I think of a record player or a turntable. What is vinyl? The, the 180D vinyl. <laughs> That'd be cool, mate. Um, I'm not sure if I can do that. Um, I'm always willing to try new stuff because I love playing around with, with new things. Grow the beard only until it gets too itchy, and then I'm going to shave it again. I, it, it grows out, and I hate shaving because my beard is rough as nails, but then it gets to a point that it gets itchy, and I have to shave it. I, I never shave completely because, I, like I said, I hate shaving. All I do is use an electric razor, shave off as much as I can on all this, and then let it grow out, and then rinse and repeat. Going to play games, David. What are you going to play? 180 gram. Okay, I'm still lost, Michael. Hey, little Maria in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sweet. What spices were in the chicken burrito? Which chicken burrito do you speak of, sir? Honeybees. Honeybee knees. I love I love new people and their names. Okay, Kenny. This is your first warning, sir. Keep it classy or find another stream. Yeah, we got the the squirrel clam. Oh, the squirrel cam. We got a squirrel out here that runs up and down the tree and chatters. It's really fun. Oh, taco time. I don't remember. They have a new burrito that's coming out that I'd like to try. Um, and I can't, for the life of me, remember it. I, I, I can't remember what it is. Luckily, it doesn't have cilantro in it. I hate cilantro. I mean, that's that's on the level of blue cheese for me. Absolutely hate blue cheese. Um, okay, we've got a lot I want to cover. Um, I'm going to take a bite of one of these. Okay. Scott, thank you, sir. Love the stream. Well, love having you here. Thank you so much for $10. Everybody give Scott a DDP self high five. Thank you, sir very much Tom and Jerry Tom and Jerry was great cartoons dude that was awesome all right David have a good day thanks for stopping by even just for a few minutes to say hi I'm gonna put these in the fridge because what I'm gonna do once again, is use my rapid uh, rice cooker and cook up rice to go with these. Maybe some fried rice. That might be good. <clears throat> Got something new at the store today. I was over at Walmart, and I found these in the popcorn aisle. This is uh, a brand called Colonel Seasons. I love it. Look at this. Colonel Seasons, and look, this little smiley dude has a, a like an army hat on. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> That's really cool. But this is a garlic parmesan popcorn seasoning. They've got like three or six, I believe, six different 
varieties. They've got like a ranch bacon and a kettle corn and a caramel. Um, and I'm gonna try all of these, but you know, I just thought that sounded really good. I'll let you know what uh, what comes of it. What size is this? Like I said, it was a dollar ninety-eight. And this is a 2.85 ounce little thing. I think it said on the back that you're only supposed to use like a fourth of a teaspoon on a tub of, of uh, popcorn. So it's like 100 servings, 100 shakes per popcorn bowl, I guess. But anyway, I'll let you know how it comes out. But that's over at Walmart if you want to pick that up. Check it out for yourself. Kevin, so good to have you here, dude. That's great. I watched the Minions film on Netflix. Sean the Sheep is great. I like Wallace and Gromit too, but I like Sean the Sheep better. And I still haven't watched the Minions movie. I've got it in my two watch list. I'll tell you what I did watch. I finally caved to you guys telling me, and I watched the first two episodes of Stranger Things I am absolutely freaking hooked. Absolutely hooked. I was hooked the first episode, but second episode was great, and I am so looking forward to this series. You know, I really don't watch a lot of newer TV, but when I find something that really grabs me by the boo-boo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep at it. <clears throat> Broner! I'm not gonna ban Chad. You crazy man. You crazy man. No way. <laughs> go watch Minions. No, I like I said, I, I'd rather go and like just binge watch Stranger Things. They've got the whole first season on Netflix. And I know the second season is either supposed to be coming out or is coming out or has come out. I'm not sure which. Not sure which. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, Comic-Con and E3, a bunch of trailers coming out. I just, before the stream started, I watched the trailer for Star Trek Discovery. How many of you guys are Trekkers? I know that us Trekkers hate to be called Trekkies. I don't know why. I don't mind being called a Trekkie, but I do original series. I never could get into the next generation or any of the other shows um kind of looking forward to this i i watched the trailer it looks really good uh kind of reminds me it, it, the first thing i saw when i watched it it so much um special effects and stuff i'm i'm kind of worried about like when they had the original battlestar galactica and they couldn't do the um just go ahead and get rid of kenny Kenny sounds like he's trouble, so just go ahead and block him completely. Um, you know, you only get so many chances. But, you know, they canceled the original Battlestar Galactica in the 70s because it just cost too darn much. Um, and this series has a lot of stuff, and it may just be trailer fluff. You know, usually movie and TV trailers you watch, and there's so much fluff, and it's just like, oh, this looks so good, and then you see the TV show or the movie, and you're going, holy crap, the best part about this whole thing was the trailer. So, I don't know. We'll see. Dollar Tree episodes. I got two more coming up. I got two things in the freezer to do. <clears throat> Captain Janeway was your favorite, Richard. Seriously. Really? Yeah, it's, it's, it's shot all the way for me. Captain Kirk. Totally, completely. So you're, you're probably pretty excited that uh, the new doctor is a female, right? Bryce? Bryce came in? Where'd Bryce came in? Come in. I don't see Bryce. Oh, right. Welcome, sir. I'm just going up the chat. I didn't see you come in. Second season comes out on Halloween. Okay, well, that's cool. 
I love doing that, being able to watch a show after it's been put out so that by the time the next season starts, it's just like, well, okay, I'm all up and I don't have to wait like six months or something. I mean, back in my day, they put out like 25, 28 episodes of a show completely through, front to back, no mid-season crap going on. You just got to see the whole season and then started the reruns. Doesn't do that anymore. TV is not what it used to be. Picard! Picard was cool. Ricky and Morty. Uh, honey, did you, uh, did, are you following me on Instagram? I posted a uh, pop vinyl that I guess it's from Ricky and Morty. It's, it's a guy named Mr. Poopy Butthole. <laughs> but go to my Instagram if you haven't. I, I would get that guy. See, I've never seen Rick or Morty. I have no idea what this guy is, but I would get that pop just specifically for the name. Off kilter, welcome, by the way. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to tell. I mean, it's, it's like, uh, I don't know. Like I said, the trailer may be the best thing about the whole show. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. Okay, other trailers. Who saw the trailer for Walking Dead Season 8? Looking good. Going to be wartime against Negan and everybody else on the evil side. So, um... That looked pretty good. Looked like a lot of action, but once again, it's a trailer. Also, uh, Comic-Con came out with the trailer for uh, Fear of the Walking Dead, the mid-season, season three, Fear of the Walking Dead, and that looks pretty good. Um, so looking forward to that. Garrickle, well, thank you so much, sir. Self high five, everybody. To oh, we've got a live chat connection problem. Don't do that. What are you doing? See, it's been doing this too. What are you saying? Not connected. What is it doing? Uh oh, it's not connecting to the chat. Thank you so much. By the way, I really do appreciate that. I don't know why the chat's doing what it's doing. Hold on, we have technical problems here. Let me... So is it... Well, I can't see whether it's doing it on the other things. It kind of looks like it is. For some reason it's disconnected from the chat. Our... So is everybody still hearing me and seeing me? Is it just the chat that's being stupid? Yeah, for some reason that chat's being dumb. Do I still watch Sesame Street? No, I don't. Okay, good. Hey, Bobby, welcome, sir. Okay, let me see. I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to do some maintenance here. I am going to delete this, and I'm going to add it back in. So... Hang tight with me here. Um, let's see. Widgets. Um, YouTube live chat. Let's see. I know it's right in the middle of my face, so hang tight. It's not connecting to the chat, guys. Oh, that sucks. Because I always like to have the chat up for replays for you guys. I don't know, maybe it'll start again and I'll fix it. Right now I'm just gonna put it in the corner here. I need to resize it, but I need to take the... Um... Yeah, it's it's disconnected from the chat. I don't know what's going on. Oh well. Oh well. We'll just keep on keeping on, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, Fear the Walking Dead. Walking Dead looks... Um, looks good as usual um, the, the the one thing that I'm frustrated about is I don't know if has anybody else watched uh, Lemony Snicket's series of unfortunate events the ones on Netflix 
the the it came out early 2017 and once again fell in love with the show because it's so quirky and so unusual love the squirrel cam yeah it'd be cool if you would come down and start chattering um but anyway i found out that the season two of series of unfortunate events won't be out until the first quarter of 2018 which is absolutely crazy it's like a whole year are you serious and what you're going to do what six episodes and then what another whole year you know i i'm surprised that more people don't get fed up with series even if they're really good and go you know what i don't have the rest of my life to grow old watching you know a few seasons of a show that's crazy the squirrel cameras well that one squirrel camera is pointing at a tree there's a little squirrel up there that runs down and and chatters and stuff like that so we're kind of watching out for him batman the animated series i hear that is good i have never seen it but i hear it is good negan's gonna be toast absolutely they should use lucille on him i mean wouldn't that be iconic and ironic death for negan to use lucille on him I know that's not the way that he dies in the comic book. Oh, spoiler alert if any of you didn't know. Uh, you know, it's, he's a bad guy. He's got to go, right? So, I mean, that's to be assumed. But um, I know that's not the way it goes in the comic book, but that's the way they should do it in the series. If I wrote it, that's the way he would die, with a shot from Lucille. Yes, Minecraft, what's up? No, they have a season two, do Dobby, Dobby Bobby, Dobby Bobby. That sounds really familiar. I don't know where I've seen your name before. No, um, they have a season two of Lemony Snicket's coming out, uh, but it doesn't come out until the first quarter of this next year, which really sucks. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess that's a way of getting new tires there. Yeah, I'm going to have to start reading these now because you're not going to know what's going on unless you're looking at the chat because it's not showing. Oh, YouTube, you suck. I can't believe you did that to me. I'm going to put it up in the corner. It's going to look ridiculous, but still. Okay. Right, I thought he did. I mean, I saw, I saw some um, screenshots of the comic where they killed him at least that's what they said happened that's what they looked I guess they could have done it themselves but I thought he was already dead in the comics I mean because the next thing after Negan is the whispers right and aren't they already into the whispers on uh, in the comics vengeance his tummy is growling like a wolf. Well, eat, sir, eat. He's still alive in the comic. So are the whispers? The whispers are from the comics. Otherwise, they wouldn't be talking about him in the show. So the whispers are going on at the same time the Negan storyline is going on? Okay. Interesting. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's get to the... Um, Let's get to the review real quick. What I did is when I was over at 7-Eleven, I grabbed a bag. It's a 2.2 ounce bag, I believe. Yeah, of 7 Select Smoked Gouda Chips. These are kettle chips. I love kettle chips. Um, I love thick chips. Uh, Tim's was always one of my favorite. And so I thought these sounded kind of good. Uh, I can't remember what the price was. You know, like a buck and a half or somewhere around there. Smells like kettle chips. I can't smell any seasoning on it. And like I said, these are these are smoked gouda. So let's give it a shot. Oh my goodness. These are really good. They're really they're really smoky flavored. It tastes exactly like a smoked cheese. 7 Select is catching up with Walkers as far as doing flavors that are spot on. It's amazing. These are really good. you got to try these. Unfortunately, they didn't have one of the big bags. All they had was the smaller bags of the smoked Gouda. 
It says certified rock and flavor. These are really good. Oh my goodness. And I didn't get a bigger bag. That sucks. But they're nice and crunchy like a kettle chip is. And they have just this very smoky Gouda cheese flavor. Good stuff. Why? What's what's YouTube doing now, Michael? Are you talking about something that's going on right now or in general? If I could live in any era, what would it be? Skid it? I don't know. I, it, I think it would be, you know, my favorite eras are 80s and back. Um, God, I don't know. I wouldn't want to live during the Depression, although the era is cool. I think I'd want to stay in the 70s. I think I just want to stay in the 70s. I'm trying to think everything that was going on. I don't know. It's so hard because there there's so many reasons to say this era is good over this one. But then you go, okay, but this era had this and this era didn't have this. I don't know. I mean, I, I guess you can't go, well, everything is just perfect during a decade. Um, God, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, share a vision. Here, at least it could be smell a vision. Like I said, they, it's deceiving because they just smell like unseasoned chips. Um, I mean, they, yeah, there's not a lot of salt content too, which is another thing I love. Um, I got these chips from Fred Meyer. They were a Fred Meyer brand, and I, I thought I'd really like them because the Fred Meyer brand is pretty cool. I usually get these rippled chips, but these one, these were a, um, a sour cream and onion, and they were so salty. I like salty stuff, but these things were so salty, I, can, I, I just can't handle them. They're just too, too salty. Yeah, Dobby, the 70s and the 80s were great, especially for music especially for music but anything in my in my opinion anything 80s and back I mean even back to the 20s and stuff like that you're talking some good music what do I think of Nando's what is Nando's <laughs> you'd buy tickets to see Negan buy it like that yeah that would be classic Bobby, the stuff you try we don't have on the East Coast. Like, what kind of stuff are you talking about? I'm going to have to keep watching the chat because you guys can't see on the screen what's going up. And that bugs me. Doggone it, YouTube. Of all the times to do this, you had to do this tonight. You know, I always check. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it back. But the it's it's oh man, let me tr turn the opacity down to where it's darker. Come on, come on, we got the chat back, but is it down or up that makes it darker? Come on, guys, I and mean, this sucks, you can barely see it. It needs to be oh, okay, hold on, I need to change the chat color. There we go. Okay. So it's not perfect, but it's a lot better. Let me change the layout to all take off keep the aspect ratio. And every other chat is connected. So, okay, there we go. Um, it could be a little bit bigger, couldn't it? Oh, the fun, the fun of live. Let's do it up to like, not sure what I have it up to usually, 17. 17's good. Okay, that'll work. Okay, chat's back. Yay, chat's back. Um, nice, Fernando. Adidas shells. What, you can't see it, Minecraft? It should be up now. I can see it. It's not visible. Okay, maybe it's a delay on your end. Just wait for a few seconds. Because it's up on my end now.
My favorite Oreo collab. I've never done an Oreo collab with anybody. Um, my worst Oreo flavor, as everybody knows, was the Swedish Fish Oreos. Those were absolutely disgusting. I can't remember what the good, the best ones that I've had are. I, I, I've been wanting to try the new Dunkin' Donuts, the Mocha um, Oreos. Okay, Eric can see it. Okay, so it was just a delay on your end. It was immediate, of course, on mine. Okay, good, good. So we're back, and I think we're back on the other ones, too. Um, let's see. I'm kind of going over. Maybe not, but I can fix that. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be a little bit of a delay. You know, as long as it's not skipping frames on you guys, I'm okay with that. David Martin, I do give you shout outs, you dang guy. Shout out to David Martin. There you go. Now you can sleep tonight. Mocha Oreos. So you've had them, Vengeance? They're pretty good. I haven't watched any of the reviews on the Mocha ones because I haven't been sure whether I I wanted to try them or not, and I don't like to, you know, get my ideas put in my head by other reviewers on this stuff. I, I like to experience it for the very first time myself so I can give just my honest reviews to you guys. Is it buffering, Lori? I don't know. It doesn't say that it is over here. Um, it's YouTube. YouTube sucks right now. I don't know. <laughs> I've gone Hollywood? No, I haven't gone Hollywood. Um, okay. Okay, so we're going to have a game raffle tonight, of course. And um, I... Oh, it, I forgot. It's ice cream month. Um, who else is, is enjoying ice cream month? And what are you enjoying? What is your favorite ice cream? Um, mine is the mint chocolate chip. I love mint chocolate chip. I love the Oreo, um, vanilla Oreo stuff too. Those are my two favorite kind. Hello, Lava. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. If there was only one food on earth, would you choose Swedish fish Oreos? <laughs> well, I've never tried TJ... Oh, wait, no. TJ Farms. Wasn't that the one that I did with um, eating the dollar store? I mean, those were good. So, I mean, there's no contest. I, I would rather eat dirt than those Swedish fish Oreos. Those were horrid. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Death by chocolate. Chocolate swirl. Cookie dough ice cream. That's good stuff. John says Superman. Cotton candy. A lot of people like cotton candy. When I go out selling um, on Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, a lot of people get the cotton candy ice creams. They love that stuff. It's either the cotton candy or the bubble gum. Those are two of their favorites. It's probably because they're the cheapest, too. They're each a dollar. Uh, so big shout out to Rainy Day Ice Cream. How you doing, Sean? That's my boss. Drumsticks. Absolutely. I love drumsticks. Hagen dazs coffee. That that's pretty expensive stuff. Hagen dazs We sell the Hagen dazs bars for like four bucks a piece, <laughs> and people buy them. The the we have Magnums, we have Hagen dazs and we have um, Snickers, and we have Choco Tacos. All of those things we sell for four bucks, and people buy them. It's just incredible. Banana split. Never been much for banana split stuff. Who would you trust more to... I don't know. I, I think I'd trust them both. I know I would have to stock up on more food for Joey, uh, but I would trust them both to house it for me. Either one. Yep, $4 each. $4 a piece. And people buy them. I had this one guy who, who bought like... What did he buy? Like three Choco Tacos, four Choco Tacos. I mean, that's four, eight. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. haagen coffee. I bet I would absolutely love that. I love the haagen stuff, stuff, although it's very expensive for me. Uh, but I love coffee and mocha stuff. One of my favorite things ever. Hey, Cavs, welcome, sir. Is 
the mocha fraps over at McDonald's. Absolutely one of my favorite things ever is getting a mocha frap or a chocolate chip uh, mocha frap over at McDonald's. They are so good. It's the, the cold ones, you know, the frap the frappuccinos. Um, okay, so what else, what else, what else, what else? I'm looking down my list. Let's go ahead and do the raffle real quick. We really don't have time for trivia tonight because we're only going an hour. Uh, but let's go ahead and do the raffle. Okay, so the game that I'm giving away is called, uh, I wrote it down here. And now I can't find it. Oh, I wanted to talk about the Atari box too. Who's excited about the new Atari box coming out? No release date, no information on what games are going to be pre-installed on the Atari box, but they're kind of kicking it old school. And there's two versions. There's one that's a black and a wood grain, and another that's a black and a red. I think I'd want the black and the wood grain because it's more nostalgic. But um, they've got four USB ports, uh, a slot for an SD card, and, a, and an HDMI slot on these things. But no word on anything else when they're coming out. But I think that sounds like it might be a lot of fun. Ben and Jerry's Hagen dazs or Hagen dazs haagen I would say, Lava. Homemade apple pie. Oh, I bet that would be good, especially with the Cool Whip. I would do that. That sounds good. And it still works, Bobby? The, your 2600 still works? That's sweet. I wish I had my uh, old Odyssey 2. I had an Odyssey 2 that I absolutely freaked out over. I loved it so much. And I don't know what ever happened to it. I was so sad. I've got an emulator that does 2600 and Odyssey 2 and TI-994A stuff. Um, and, you know, just some old school games. And I like that, but I would really love to have the original stuff. Deep fried ice cream. Apple pie is my favorite. That sounds wonderful, Michael. You had... They had a black and red Atari... Fernando? It wasn't a 2600, was it? Wasn't that like a 9600? Or what am I thinking of? Walter, Atari games were awful, not old Nintendo. Those are playable. Yeah, I mean, they weren't always the best, but I mean, they're, it's, it's more nostalgia than anything else. I mean, I'll even play E.T., on the Atari 2600 until I get so frustrated I gotta quit. And it's just for nostalgia purposes. Lag again, huh? Well, thank you very much. Ash, thank you very much, YouTube. You suck. Angry video game nerd. Yep, I'll watch him, Clementine. He hasn't put out anything in a while, has he? Jaguar. I, I remember hearing that... I. No, actually, I was thinking of something else. I can't remember hearing any good, good, bad, or ugly about the Jaguar. <laughs> Awful Spider-Man. <laughs> the 2600, yeah. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and give away a game. Uh, the game that I'm giving away, I told you that I'd uh, find it. I wrote it down. I mean, I've, I, I'm, I'm going to show you the trailer. I just am frustrated because I know I wrote it down and I can't find it. Okay, that's weird. Okay, let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, the, the, the uh, game that I'm talking about is called The Silent Age. You can, you know, I'm going to send you the code if you win uh, for the Steam game. And it's a point and click. Um, and it gets very positive reviews. So let me go ahead and go over and show you the trailer for it just from YouTube. Uh, let me see where I'm at.
Okay, so that's the game, and um, yeah, they ported it over to the PC, so people on the PC can can buy it. It's not free on the PC. It's not an expensive game though at all. But I got it in a uh, humble bundle, and so I thought I'd pass it along to you because it, you know they're, they're saying really good things about it, and it looks like it might be kind of fun. So anyway, oh, cookies and cream and. And, oh yeah, right, right up there, off kilter. That's exactly the ones that I love, the two that I love the best. Okay, so I'm going to show you a screenshot from a movie, and all you've got to do is tell me what movie this is from. That's it. And the first one who gets the answer right gets the game. So I'll be watching. Here we go. Right there. What movie is that from? Come on, you old school guys. Oh, I gave you a hint right there. Rocky. <laughs> no. Planet of the Apes. Nope. Conan. Nope. Anybody else? Eyes wide shut. Nope. Flash. Nope. Sea Rebel. How you doing? Hey Presley, how you doing? Some dorky movie. No, it's an awesome movie. No, Richard. <laughs> on Golden Pond, John. You're goofy on Golden Pond. Eight and a half weeks. No. No, old brother, where out down. No, the toy. Come on, guys. When you old school guys gotta get this. Well, Dippin' Dots. Dippin' Dots are good. Deep fried ice cream. Oh, Eric knows it, but he, he can't get the game. No, it's a movie, Clementine. Wars? Bananas? What, like the Woody Allen bananas? No. Schindler's List? You're goofy. You're just guessing dorky stuff. Revenge of the Old Nerds. <laughs> there should be a movie like that. I should make one. Basic Instinct. There you go. Scott got it. Logan's run. Scott, you got it. You win the game. So go ahead and email me at oldnerd at oldnerdreviews.com. Oldnerd at oldnerdreviews.com. Put in the subject line, raffle winner, and I'll send you the key. And, and then you got to come back after you play it and tell us what it was like. So, Scott got it. Don't have to guess anymore. Logan's Run. Classic sci-fi movie. One of my favorite sci-fi movies. I've got it on uh, DVD somewhere down there. Great movie. Uh, you never even hear of these movies? Clementine's got a sad face. No sad faces. Be cheery. Be uplifted. What's Logan's Run? Uh, Logan's Run Presley is a 70s movie starring Michael York and Jennifer, what was her last name? I can't remember. Uh, it's got Farrah Fawcett in it too, in, a, in a, just a, a supporting role. But what it is, is it's a futuristic movie that everybody, all the, the all the world is encased in these bubbles and in order to control the population you die at age of at, at 30 years of age and what they what the government has done is basically lulled you in this sense that you can actually get past 30 by having something called uh, carousel which that that show that uh, screenshot was from that part and you have a chance of regenerating your your crystal you've got these crystals in your hand that are timed 
And at the age of 30, or when you start reaching 30, it starts to blink red, and then it'll go black. Um, but, see, they have these uh, enforcers called sand men. And what they do is if anybody runs from being, you know, kicked off, knocked off uh, at the age of 30, then the Sandman chase them down. Well, Logan is a Sandman, and his friend is a Sandman. They work together. And Logan uh, discovers the little secret that nobody actually regenerates at Carousel. They actually never make it past 30 years old. So Logan decides to be a renegade and run himself. And so that's the whole premise of the movie. Yeah, just like Golden Pond. <laughs> Pryor wasn't in Logan's run. No, Pryor wasn't in Logan's run. It's not a comedy. It's a sci-fi. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really classic sci-fi. It's up there with, with uh, Omega Man and the original Planet of the Apes series in silent running um and and just just a really good well done westworld the original westworld with you you'll brenner just a really solid sci-fi stories love that stuff yes omega man from 71 with chuck heston do you like the movie i did like fugitive chad with um harrison ford i did like fugitive yeah that was good I've never seen the TV series. I, I suppose I should watch that. There was also a movie where people had ID chips put in their necks. Anybody remember what that was? Hey, Peter, welcome, sir. Peter J's Food Reviews. Go over and check him out. Who is my favorite doctor? The Ninth Doctor is my favorite doctor. I like 10, too, but the Ninth Doctor right there. With his little, his little screwdriver, his little sonic screwdriver. That is my favorite doctor with Rose. Sit there. He needs a base. He keeps tipping over. His head's too big. Too big for his body, for his feet. Um. <laughs> Golden. <laughs> Yes, older sci-fi movies are better. They they have more of a story to them. They're better done. Um, they they they're just better. So you're getting lag again. Thank you, YouTube. You suck. Um, yeah, Voltaire. I'm a little torn too. I'm not sure whether I'm going to really like the new Doctor being a female. I just don't think that's going to work. I, I guess we'll wait and see. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Running Man. Running Man was actually a fun movie. I like that one too with with um, Arnold. That was. I mean, it was cool because it was a base story. It it kind of reminded me of Escape from New York in that it was a, a little bit campy, and it was just fun. Earth was overrun by humans and food. Are you talking uh, Soylent Green with uh, Chuck Heston again? Yes, I like Total Recall too. Never saw the remake. I don't like remakes. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to the new Jumanji though, because I think that might be kind of cool. Because it's kind of like a different story. It's not like a remake. It's not like a lazy remake. And I love Jumanji, but yes, I like the original Total Recall. Well, vengeance, every time you fart, it makes me laugh. Because I'm easily amused. <laughs> yeah, that was weird, Chad. That was very bizarre. Oh, John's leaving? Well, thanks, John. Appreciate you stopping by, Mang. Come back anytime. Well, come back on Saturday. If you come back any other time, I won't be here. <laughs> are, are you leaving too, Richard? If you're leaving too, thank you for stopping by, my friend. Yeah, Richard Dawson in in uh, Running Man. He he was he was classic. I I never thought he'd be able to pull off a bad guy, but he really did. 
Yes. Uh, no, Sharon Stone was not in Running Man. She was in Total Recall. Do more gaming. Yeah, I need to get back into that, Richard. I, I've just, you know, kind of like I told you on, on Facebook, I'm kind of getting burnt. Or actually, I posted it on Twitter. I'm kind of getting burnt out. I need a vacation right now. I'm trying to keep up with everything, but, you know, I mean, you can just work so long nonstop before your your mind and your body starts going, man, I just need a break. You know, I'd like to go down to the Oregon coast for a while. I might wait until... Um, until Lori gets up in this area. Go down with her. That might be fun. Show her around. Hey, Robert. Welcome, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, looking forward to the next Prey video. Eric, I have to admit, I've been playing Prey without you guys. I have. Like I said, I got burnt out. I, I'm, I'm burnt out. I didn't want to set up all the recording stuff. I just wanted to enjoy the game, and I've been playing without you. I'm so sad. I'm so embarrassed. I'm shamed. You can shame me. But it's getting really, really good. I'm sorry. No, Voltaire, that was um, basic, basic instinct. Not Total Recall. Mick Fleetwood was in The Running Man? Seriously? I'll have to go back and look. I didn't know that. Oh, the Oregon coast is beautiful. Um, you should go over to my Chawman channel. I've got a whole... I've got like two or three playlists of different years that I went down to the Oregon coast. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm sorry, Eric. I really am. I feel really bad. I didn't know if anybody would notice. Um, I know that you enjoyed them. Um, I don't know. I, I have nothing else to say. Hey, look at the squirrel. <laughs> I'm just trying to distract you. There's no squirrel. But I was trying to distract you from the subject matter. <laughs> um, to Mexico? No. I don't think I'll stay right here in the States. I don't have a whole lot of money to do a lot of stuff like that, to travel a whole lot. So I stay around the area. Yes, Prey is absolutely awesome. Oh, Minecraft Lover is keeping track. Three minutes. According to my clock, it's five. So I'll go according to my clock. Um, is there anything else? I, I think we're done. So we'll, we'll just go ahead and ride this puppy on out. I miss Mr. Wrench. Oh, you mean, the, yeah, the wrench. Yeah, um, I, I've actually been getting some of the neural mods that work in my mind. So there was this one window that I was trying to get through into this office. I needed a key card, but I didn't have one to get in this office. Couldn't find it for the life of me. But I broke out this office window, but it was bars on the window. And so I got this neural mod where I can change into objects. So I put this this roll of something, or, or maybe it was a coffee mug or something, up on the windowsill of it. I used the neural mod. I became the coffee cup, and I rolled into the office, and and you know, then was able to do stuff. It was really fun. And then I've been floating out in space too, in order to get to places that I can't get to because they're locked, but I can go through other airlocks and other docks. It's cool. Yeah, I've seen The Running Man on, on TV every once in a while. I mean, I don't have TV, but I used to, I used to see it when I did. Uh, GameCube was a great console vengeance. I like that. Pumping Iron. I, yeah, Presley, I actually had that. I, see, I got that on DVD when I worked out. And I used to work out like a maniac when I was younger. And I loved that show. It was funny. I, I, I was a Lou fan. I loved Lou Ferrigno. I wanted him to win over Arnold. Because Arnold just seemed like an arrogant dork. <laughs> the rut no way, Michael. Are you serious? If, if you're serious, that's funny. 
Running Man was sponsored by x -Lax. Yeah, Slime Rancher is fun, too. I, I, we'll have to do some more of that. That's not something that you really have to, you know, you really have a progressive storyline going on. It's just something that you do. So, yeah, that's no... Yeah, we were we were talking about that, Robert, seeing the new Walking Dead trailer and the new uh, Fear the Walking Dead trailer. Uh, both look like they're going to be pretty good. But once again, they're trailers. So they can pack a whole lot of fluff within a 30-second to a, a minute-and-a-half trailer to where you think, oh, it's going to be so good. And then watch, once you watch the show, it's like, oh, I'm so let down. But we'll see. I, I'm sure Walking Dead's still going to be great. And Fear the Walking Dead has gotten a lot better. I didn't care that much for the Pumping Iron 2. Uh, so, you know, that's just me. Wind Waker. Wind Waker was cool. I remember watching my son play that. That was fun. x -Lax makes you go, go, go. It does indeed. Wow, we're running out of time. We filled this up real easy. With no problem whatsoever. Wow. So, um, anything else? No, I think that's it. Talked about ice cream month. Um, trying to do a new podcast Monday through Friday. Link is down below in the description. And what I do is I, I, I take up like maybe a minute or two and I talk about something foodie, uh, something nerdy, uh, news like that. Like I said, I'm trying to do it Monday through Friday. I was going to do seven days a week, but it's just too much work. Um, so if you want to check that out <laughs> while it's still around, uh, link down below. What was my best bench press? Probably, oh, I want to say 425 was my best bench press. And it was only one rep. And Vengeance is going to fart. He's going to fart us out. I watched The Incredible. I love The Incredible Hulk. And you can see it on Netflix. And I think it's also on Amazon Prime. Great show that centered on more of the drama than the Hulk, although the later seasons kind of got kind of weird. And I love Six Million Dollar Man. I've got the whole series on DVD. Absolutely love that show. Yes, the Hash Brown Olympics are almost finished. We've got like a few more. I'm going to do Arby's. I'm going to do Taco Time. Um, I think there's one more that I wanted to do. Or maybe that's the only two. Maybe the only two I've got left is Arby's and Taco Time. I think that might be it. And then we're into finding out who wins the silver, the gold, and the bronze. And maybe I'll give away a tinfoil for the really horrible one. Ice Cream Show. Never seen the Ice Cream Show. Is it actually about ice cream? Well, thank you, Eric. And thank you for doing a good job on the chat, both you and Lori. Gas station hash brown. That would take a long time, Peter. That would that would move us into months because you know you could go on and on with with gas station deli hash browns forever. I mean, maybe I'll do that as a maybe a hash brown Olympics part two, and we'll only do deli hash browns. That's a good idea. Thank you. I I love your guys' comments on my videos and stuff like that and the chat here because it gives me ideas and you know you guys sometimes I don't even have to think of stuff on my own because you guys give me great ideas I love that yeah six million dollar man versus Bigfoot the original Bigfoot if you didn't know was Andre the Giant they changed over to uh, Ted Cassidy who played Lurch in the Adams family, but the original one was was um, was uh, Andre. All right, well, I am going to kick it off here and uh, let you guys go. I'm going to go eat dinner. I'm going to make myself up some rice, like I said, and and have some of those chicken wings and white rice. Um, nobody's won yet, little Maria. We still have at least two to go. I think it's only two. Dollar Store Pizza. Um, I'm not sure what they have at the Dollar Store. I, I think they have some Red Barons, and I think they have some Totinos. 
Um, but I mean, it's I may do those in a, a pizza playlist, put those in a pizza playlist rather than a dollar store one, because that's really not really not an off brand of pizza. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go eat dinner. And oh, I forgot. I've got my banana Slurpee in my Farmville cup. So I'm sipping on that tonight. Uh, but you guys have a freaking awesome rest of the weekend. Uh, video tomorrow, of course, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific. And um, I've got another week scheduled out. And um, yeah. I don't know where I'm going from there. I've already did. Uh, I've already done Jack in the Box as far as the hash browns, Chad. I think I did. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I did. So yeah, check that out if that's what you're talking about. All right, guys, you have a freaking awesome day. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you everybody for supporting the chat. Uh, thank you, um, Eric and Lori for keeping the chat classy and and for all you guys because you keep it classy too and I, I just love talking with you guys so anyway I'm going to ease on out here oh by the way I don't think I showed you the Ataris there is what the Ataris look like the 2600s or the new ones the Atari boxes that's what they look like did I show you that but that's what they look like they look really weird really different oh um oh I've got one more thing before I let you go guys um, somebody and I'm not gonna say any names because I want to wait to see if it actually happens somebody has offered me a lot of money to do a fire noodle challenge and if you're not familiar with the fire noodle challenge you can find it on YouTube a lot of fire noodle challenge videos on there, but somebody has offered me a good amount of money to do it. I am willing to do it for whoever is listening out there who offered me that money. I'm not going to say any names because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to put you on the spot. But I'm willing to do it if you're willing to do it. Um, okay, so yes, that is definitely it. So you guys have a freaking awesome weekend. I will see you later. Um, see you next Saturday. Come on back for more and we'll do a lot more chatting. See ya.